بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رمضان كريم عارف ان الوقت متاخر وبنشكر البارتيسمنت اللي كاملين معانا لغايه دلوقتي واولا انا بشكر استاذ الدكتور هشام الشيخ على الدعوه الكريمه ان انا اشاركك في الاكتيفيتي دي ودي انا بقالي مده متابع النشاط بتاع جامعه اسم شعب جامعه بنها وبحييه على النشاط المستمر ده وسعيد طبعا بمشاركه معالي العميد دكتور استاذ دكتور احمد الجزار والصديق العزيز استاذ دكتور طارق الداستي في هذه الاحتفاليه يعني العلميه هو طبعا الدكتور طارق والدكتور احمد الجزار يعني اتكلموا هاو تو بي ا جود ريسيرشر انا يمكن هتكلم شويه هرجع شويه وأقول لكم how to be a good searcher والتوبيك بتاعي النهاردة اللي هو how to search for a topic in radiology uh, My presentation is full of name of companies so this presentation was made only for educational purpose with no commercial interest Objective uh, to understand what is the web currently offer for the radiology trainee and radiologist Uh, to learn how to search, use, and manage the information, both for learning and for clinical practice, and to get started with the selection of the best radiology sites currently available on the web. First, we have the question, why do radiologists need the web? We have many answers for this question. During our clinical work, We have to look for literature searches. We need to uh, uh, hunt for the quick answer and the build image. And also we need to know anatomy during our clinical work. Also during preparation of lectures, thesis, and researches. Also for communications and virtual networking. And also this is the, the last one. If we need to acquire the continuous medical education hours, Uh, through uh, case studies, our airline presentations, or uh, computer-assisted uh, learning. There's many data are, data are there in the web, okay? These data are numerous and huge amount. Include search engine, scientific journals, textbooks, teaching files, te techniques based resources, virtual networking, uh, subspecialty sites, image database and the case storehouses. All this data, we need to know how to search or how to swim in this stream of data. We have two problems here. First one, the problem is that the amount of data is huge and it is difficult to digest. It is like drinking water from a fire hose. Second, problem the data are not organized so here in this presentation i will present for you how to organize collect and categorize this data to make it add information then we put my experience to mix it with the information to know the knowledge and to to reach the knowledge this uh, for this uh, information And finally, your work is to put your imagination and your insights to make this uh, knowledge to create a new study, new design, new problem solving. This is your role. How to search the web? To search the web, you have to look for search engine. Search engine, it is a software system which is designed to find data and the information is stored in the World Wide Web. We have either general search engines or medical search engines. General uh, uh, search engines are many, and few are medical search engines, and there is one search engine for which is called radiology-centered or radiology-specific search engine. We have many search uh, engines. But the top five are Google, Yahoo, uh, Bing, which is previously known as N, Bidu, which is present in China, 
our and Yandex uh, rule, which is present in Russia. If we go back to the year 2000, we can find that Yahoo represent about 50% of the search engine and MSN represent Microsoft represent less than 20%. And Google started in 2000, uh, in the year 2000. Two years later, in 2002, Google rapidly grew and overcome uh, Microsoft and overcome Yahoo and since this, Google owned the own share of the search traffic. This is the worldwide market share of leading search engine from 2010 to 2021. And if you look here, you find that worldwide, Google represents about 85% of the search stream, and others is less than 15%. And even in Egypt, okay, if we go to uh, last March, you can find that Google share about 98% of the search uh, engine in Egypt. Why Google dominated? It started from zero and reached up to 85 to 90%. Because they have what is called the unique feature of Google, which is continual update. They update data uh, on a uh, uh, minutes uh, basis. So I will give you here an example of how they uh, dominate. If we look to all the computer, uh, we are uh, uh, going with the uh, uh, time machine to the year 2000, and we search for uh, paper-like uh, or topic of phacomatosis. I want to search for, for phacomatosis. I will find only one topic discuss phacomatosis in the year 2002. 2000, but if you go to 2021 and I search for phacomatosis with MRI, I can find that there is 68,000 results and this collected in less than quarter of a second. And also we have videos about phacomatosis in MRI. We have about 30, uh, 391 results. Okay, and we have many images about phacomatosis in MRI. This is in Google. And also it gives me uh, more filters, like if you want phacomatosis in MRI, clinical findings, or uh, uh, phacomatosis pigmentovascular, uh, or diagnostic procedures, or uh, subtypes of phacomatosis as neurofibromatosis, or Serge Weber, or uh, uh, neurofibromatosis. All this is are present uh, in Google, and this is why they dominate. Many people love Google. Why this? Because Google is a simple interface. It is free, very fast, bring up numerous results, thousands of results. And in the first page, you usually you find the relevant results. And I give you here a hint that don't go beyond the first page in when you search in Google, because most likely if you uh, make your choose uh, the correct topic, you get the relevant paper, uh, the relevant result in the first paper. Also, we have different uh, filters. It can give you all image, video, books, news, whatever you want. Then, because we are doctors and we are medical uh, professionals, we are usually busy. So we need what is called medical search engine. Medical search engines, because we don't have time to search on the disorganized general searches, and we need tool for finding trusted clinical and scientific information. And also we need more relevant uh, hits than general data, and also we want links to key, to key papers based on the number of uh, citation and evidence-based medicines. So we have here what is called medical search engines. And here we have four famous uh, search, uh, 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 medical search engines. First one is WebMD, then PubMed, and Google Scholar, and eMedicines. 
the two famous are the uh, uh, Bob, uh, uh, PubMed and the one is Google Scholar. Uh, PubMed started in 1996. It is uh, based on the midline database of the National Library of Medicine. And it is not only a search engine, but it is combination of best database with a search engine and also it has continuous uh, update of its information this is uh, address for uh, PubMed okay it is free quick and easy to use it gives you wide range of filters if you search about the uh, topic like osteosteoma then it will give you the results and you can make some filters for this result these filters include you want uh, article type clinical trial or review or more or you need it, uh, abstract or uh, full uh, uh, full text or also you need uh, the date of publication from the five years or ten years so all these filters help you in your searching for the good uh, topic in radiology. We, it has also other features like related searches. It gives you some uh, related search like osteosteoma, osteosteoma review, osteosteoma, osteoblastoma, radio frequency of osteosteoma. Also it gives you image search, give you some image of osteosteoma titles with your research items and also free full text articles which is similar to what you look for and if you click on any one of these image you can find the image with the legend underneath we have also advanced search and this is sophisticated search you can search by author journal full text dates human or animals gender language and this is advanced search also in PubMed. Google Scholar, it is also one of the famous search engines which can use in medicine. It provides a simple way to broadly search for scholarly literature. It uses many sources like articles, theses, books, abstracts, uh, court opinions, uh, ac uh, academic publisher, professional societies, online uh, repositories, repositories, university, and other websites. Also, it has filled more articles and in less times. So if you look for Osteosteoma, you will give 13,000 results in about 0.05 seconds. If we, if we give you a, a suggestion for related research, so you can choose any one of these, to help you in research. You can also uh, give you the time of research you need this year or two years before or five years before. Also, if you get it, give you a link to the article, which is either uh, free text or it is uh, abstracts, give you a link to the authors. If you need to more more about the author, just you you click the hyperlink, this hyperlink, and you get information about the, the author. And we have here what is called the number of citation. And this is very, very important. So increase number of citation, this means that the topic is good. So here you can know the number of citations of any paper of this one. Also, also has to give you similar related articles. Also, it gives you an option how to cite the articles. So if you know the articles, and it gives you how to cite the articles in different forms according to institute or your university. You can use whatever you like, and you can just copy and paste it. And here we have a conflict on the internet about which medical search engine is best, PubMed or Google, and everyone is uh, uh, say this is uh, this one is better than the other, and each one had its own uh, strengths and its own limitations. And I will not go in this uh, uh, limitation or strengths. But here we have we need for a radiology centered search engine. 
to reduce the massive clutter that hinder the discovery of radiology specific content and to eliminate non radiology information and increase the specificity for target files. Also, searching for radiology peer reviewed information only. And this is thanks for uh, Dr. Michel D. Alessandro. He is the create, creating this search engine in 2006. And searching uh, this search engine depends only on radiology peer reviewed information. This information taken from uh, specific and the most famous uh, radiology journal like uh, AGNR, AGR, Radiology, Radiographics, uh, British Journal of Radiology. All this is uh, the information uh, uh, taken for this search engine. Also, in this search engine, you can find some related uh, uh, other sites like searching pediatric, radiology education, radiology ebooks and pediatric radiology and pediatric uh, imaging. How it differs from Google? Here, if we look, we are looking for a serious tumor in Google, and you can find the, all the thousands of, of topics uh, present nowadays about a serious tumor. But this may be news. This may, may be uh, some opinions, uh, some advertising, uh, some from books, some from journals. So it is mixed. But if you search for serious tumor in searching radiology, you can find only what is written about serious tumor in the radiology journal in the uh, RCNA or radiology or radiographics. So this is how it differs from Google. Then we go to the second part of my lecture. It is about radiology virtual network and education websites. This provides a tool for radiologists to connect, learn, and collaborate in groups and forums. Also, it can help you in searching for a job and share and discuss cases globally. And also, you can publish your professional profile and access studies, news, blogs, and other resources. And here we have many radiology virtual network. This is the famous uh, ones, uh, anti many Red Round, Radiology Assistant, Learning Radiology, Radiopedia, Diagnostic Imaging, and Imaging Busways. Antimony, it is one of the famous uh, virtual network for the radiologists. Also, it is uh, free and you can just sign and uh, it is, uh, needs no fees. You can find here some information about Antimony. You can go to Education. Uh, case of the day, case library, you can see some uh, quiz, some articles. If you go this one, you can see videos, news, okay. Uh, Red round also the same. It has many cases. You can search what you like. If you need a case, you can open and discuss. Also, you, ha you have groups and members and also radiology CME if you are interested in radiology CME. But this site needs just to sign in and also it is with some fee. Uh, radiology assistant, this is one of the best uh, radiology sites. It is uh, a project of the Dutch Society of Radiologists. It is an interesting learning module and interactive case studies. Uh, it is increasing popularity among trainees and it has 2,000 visits every day uh, going to that site. And I will give you how you can visit this site. If you go to the radiology assistant, you can find here uh, many uh, icons which is related to uh, topics. And if you go to any one of these under abdomen, you can find what is there under, under uh, abdomen. You have here ab acute abdomen, adrenals, aorta, biliary, bowel, okay, and many, many topics. And if you go under acute abdomen, you can find this is appendicitis and uh, mimicals of appendicitis. If you click this one, you can find uh, um, a PDF uh, talk about appendicitis and mimics with uh, some illustrations, uh, ultrasound, image, CT, also uh, anatomy, everything about this one, just full topics of what you need. Learning Radiology, it is also uh, one of the famous uh, sites for uh, radiologists, okay? Also, it is the same like uh, 
uh, radiology assistant, you can go here and you can see under the cases. Okay, you can find here uh, like uh, in cardiac lectures, you can see here, this is videos and this is PDF files. And you have here also cases and you can open whatever you want and search this one. Review media, and this is a famous uh, and growing uh, uh, sites, okay? And also we have here uh, uh, about 42 cases and 15,000 articles, and you have quizzes. You can also uh, check yourself and it give you CME credits. Diagnostic imaging, which is also the same website, you can, whatever you want, just go and check the sites and choose whatever you like, this one, uh, this one. and also it has uh, modality like MRI, CT, ultrasound, and, and under each of, of these uh, folders, you can find many files. We have here what is called Diagnostic Imaging Busway, and this is a famous, and I like this uh, site very much, Diagnostic Imaging Busway. If you go under the topics, you can see here, it gives you a clinical questions and you, you look and you, he tell you how you can make an algorithm to solve these problems. Like here, I will go to, uh, to uh, uh, gastrointestinal, uh, hepatic, I will go to focal liver uh, lesions, and this it will give you the clinical best way. If you find a focal hepatic lesion, how you will go when you use ultrasound, when you use CT scan, when you make MRI, when you do this, this one, it, it give you a, a full clinical best way to solve the problem to reach the final diagnosis. And also it give you image gallery about the multiple focal lesions and how they appear in different uh, modalities and also you can print this in a PDF files and you have a full topics about focal hepatic lesions. We have many websites for radiology cases, uh, uh, case in point, anti many case of the day, Euro radiology cases and journal of radiology case report. If you can see here, this is a case in point uh, which is uh, supported by ACR. Okay, you can find here the cases and you can look and make quiz for yourself. Anti-mini can send for you case uh, per day. Every case, you can send it to your uh, email or you, to your Facebook. And you, if you want to uh, search for case library, you can find many cases. You can go one by one and check it by modality or by a case library or other quiz. We have here the, what is called the peer review cases in the uh, Euro Red and also one from the Journal of Radiology case report. If you are interested in the techniques and the protocols, you can go uh, to uh, MRI, you can uh, search in the EMRI websites about the uh, techniques and the protocol of, uh, of uh, MRI. Uh, for CT scan, you can search for MD radiology or CT is us. For ultrasound, we have two famous uh, websites. This is for e uh, EMRI. You can search for the uh, protocol or whatever you want about uh, EMR, physics, techniques, protocols. Okay, this is uh, icons for what is present in the EMRI. And you can find that this is the full uh, topic. This is the CT scan. You can go to the MEDCT or you can go to the CT is us. Also, these famous websites to go to tell you the physics and techniques of CT scan. Uh, for uh, the people who are interested in sonography, you have one to uh, one to three sonography. This is uh, famous uh, websites. It uh, also teach you uh, by videos and uh, uh, by tutorial about how you uh, make uh, and apply ultrasound for different parts of the body. And also there is suicide education website, which is famous websites. You can go and you can search for whatever you want, clinical image, and you have here videos and researches, and you can go. If you want a radiology electronic textbook, we have two famous websites. You can search for the, uh, them. One is the radiologyeducation.com. If you go there and you check for the textbooks, you can find many textbooks which are present 
in different uh, body parts, breast cardiovascular, chest, emergency. And if you click in one of these, it will open the book and you can search it on, uh, on the web. Also, we have here a very, um, uh, very uh, strong uh, website, which is called uh, MEGA. It uh, contains uh, maybe a thousand of books. And if you look here, you can uh, click whatever you want. This is folders. Under this folder, you can find uh, under this one many uh, books under this one. You can uh, download whatever you want, either uh, download a zip or the standard download, and you can search this. And this website is free, also it, it contains more than, uh, I think, 50,000 uh, books in, uh, in this uh, mega website. Finally, in the era of the YouTube, we have Radiology YouTube channel, and I choose for you uh, four uh, channels. One of them is the Radiology videos. You can find here whatever you want, and you can watch it in the YouTube. Also, we have the, here the channel of uh, cases, uh, Radiology channel of the radio media. You can see case in Radiology, and you, have, you, you can find 25 videos, maybe more nowadays. Okay, and we have one, two, three radiology. Also, you can find whatever you want uh, as videos and you can uh, look and search. And we, we will not forget the SSR uh, video channel uh, of uh, our professor, Dr. Mamdou. And also it contains many, many videos uh, to can, uh, you can search and you can look and you can learn from this one. And most of these videos are uh, free. So to summarize my talk, if you want to uh, literature uh, search, you go to Google Scholar or uh, PubMed. If you want radiology center search engine, go to searchingradiology.com. If you want to uh, choose a selection of website, go to one of these or are, have the same capability and the same uh, functions. Okay, anti-mini, uh, rad rounds, radiology assistant, learning radiology, radio media, diagnostic imaging, uh, imaging pathways. If you want a case publisher site, you can see case in, uh, in Boeing, anti-mini case of the day, your radiology case or journal of radiology case robot. And if you want about techniques, you can go to CT, which uh, MD radiology, MRI, EMRI, and ultrasound, I prefer if you look to the sonocyte.com. YouTube, we have the famous uh, 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 radiology textbooks. We can go to the radiologyeducation.com or the uh, mega websites. And for YouTube, you can go to the radiology videos, radiology channel, uh, radio media, and 23 radiology or SSR uh, website of Dr. Mamdouh Mahfouz. Thank you for your blessing. شكرا جزيلا دكتور رجل. طبعا يعني حضرتك بطلت الأمور على الناس جدا مهم يعني يشوفوا أي حاجة. هو السؤال هنا بس يا دكتور رجل هو إيه ال requirements بتاع كل ال sites دي؟ يعني sites. طبعا معلش دكتور أسمع تاني بعدين. يعني الـ 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 أنا بتكلم يعني يعني هل إحنا في مصر طبعا غير الـ 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 SSR هل نقدر من خلال الجمعية أو من خلال أي أكتيفيتيز أخرى إن إحنا يبقى لينا تواجد قوي في حاجة بهذا الشكل؟ كويب يعني فيرشوال نتورك أو ويب سايتس؟ آه آه هو يعني اعتقد برضو ان ممكن عن طريق جمعيه يمكن الدكتور طارق يفيدنا بكده اذا كان ممكن نعمل كوميونيكيشن ويب سايت للراديولوجيست يكون برضو في يعني انتر اكشن بين الراديولوجيست ويكون برضو في مثلا زي جوب سيرش وكونتينوس ميديكال ادوكيشن وكيس ستور وحاجات زي كده اعتقد برضو مع بعض الدعم من بعض الكامبانيز اللي ممكن تساعد في كده ممكن نعمل ويب سايت قوي جدا داخل مصر يعني يعني هو طبعا 
استاذنا الدكتور طارق يعني يعلق برضو على الجزئيه دي انا ما اعرفش يعني هي بس فكره جت كده طبعا زي استاذنا الدكتور راجع ما قال هو يعني هي هتحتاج بس ناس ديديكيتد واكسبرت في الموضوع ولازم هيكون في دعم من بعض الشركات برضه اللي عندها خبره في الحاجات دي و... و... ومن الناس الجيولوجيست زمايلنا اللي عندهم وعندهم خبره برضه و... و... وفي امكانيه ان هي بس عايزه مجموعه يعني فيها فيها تعاون و... وعندها حرص على انها تعمل حاجه بشكل جيد يعني. وانا اعتقد الجزء الـ يعني الـ الناس اللي ممكن تعمل كده بتفكر طبعا ناس كتير في يعني الافراد نفسهم موجودين يعني اعتقد مفيش عندنا مشكله في يعني حضرتك احنا عندنا ما شاء الله اساتذه وناس ان في كل مكان يقدروا يعملوا حاجه بالشكل ده كجزء علمي يعني كده يعني اكيد بس هو 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 لازم يبقى عندهم الرغبه وعندهم الوقت الوقت ان هو ما هو يعني الامكانيات موجوده والخبره موجوده والكيسز موجوده كل حاجه موجوده بس المهم ان انت يعني يبقى في الرغبه والوقت المتاح اه ان هو يعمل حاجه زي كده ان شاء الله يا دكتور طارق يعني نعتبر ان دي كده كفكره كده وربنا يسهل الامور ان شاء الله. آه تمام في سؤال لسه ارد عليهم كل شيء لو سمحت. اتفضل اتفضل يا معلم. في سؤال في ثلاث اسئله بس في الشات حد بيسال هل المقصود نشر الثمن الحاسب 24 شهر هم فيهم كلامي غلط؟ لا ده انا بقول الحد الادنى ما بين اول بحث واخر بحث لكن انت ما ده انت المفروض تنشر في الخمس سنين. لكن الحد الادنى 24 شهر لكن مش ينزل الثمن ابحاث في 24 شهر فبس بوضح النقطه ديت لان حد بيقول يعني انشر الثمن ابحاث في 24 شهر لا ده انا بنقول الحد الادنى ترفض لكن انا بقول لك انشر المفروض توزع شغلك على خمس سنين لكن انا طالما ان انا لقيت البحث الاولاني والاخير بينهم خمس سنين ده انت ممتاز لكن اللي بينشر في خلال سنتين ده فاحنا بنشوف الحد الادنى والحد الحد الادنى 24 شهر دي نقطة بس حد بيسأل هو زميل مساعد في المستشفيات التعليمية وخد الدكتوراه بس لسه ما ترقاش ينفع يعني ينفع يعني برضه عندهم زي عندنا مجلس كلية عندهم مجلس الأعلى للمستشفيات التعليمية فبياخد وقت شوية على ما بيعقد يعني فبنمسك بيقعد له خمس ست شهور ونجح في الدكتوراه واخد بالك فلسه ما خدش الدرجة فيعني أنت هنا برضه فيها قولان لأن أنت بتحسب ما أنت ما زلت برضه زميل مساعد زي المدرس المساعد عندنا اللي نجح في الدكتوراه بس لسه ما ناقش الرساله. هو خد الدرجه العلميه كده؟ لا الدرجه العلميه بعد اكتمال كل ايه مقاومتها من ضمن مقاومتها المناقشه. فهو ما زال مدرس مساعد لغايه قرار مجلس الجامعه ما يطلع باعتباره مدرس يتحسب ان هو كده ايه؟ باحث. دكتوره شو زكي بتسال يعني واحد اتاخر في الترقيه ودخل يقدم على الترقيه يتحاسب بتاريخ التقدم للجنه على القواعد بتاع التقدم يوم التقدم ولا تاريخ استحقاقه؟ لا انا بنتحاسب يوم ما دخل يعني هو المفروض يعني يقدم للترقيه مثلا من سنتين فاتوا هو قاعد بدل ما يقدم على خمس سنين مقدم على سبع سنين ولا ثمان سنين يقول لك طب وقتها كانت القواعد بتقول كذا لا انت بتتحاسب النهارده فانت بتتحاسب على القواعد اللي انت داخل على اساسها بس عشان بس يبقى ايه؟ لكن يعني مش على تاريخ الاستحقاق على تاريخ التقدم ما لناش دعوه كنا يستحق التقييم من ثلاث سنين فاتوا والقواعد القديمه كان لا هو بيتحاسب على القواعد اللي هو مقدم على اساسها. بس كانت دي الاسئله اللي في الشات يعني شكرا لكل شيء. طيب انا سؤال بس برضو لاستاذنا الدكتور طارق ولحضرتك يا معالي العميد كاديتور يا دكتور طارق يعني ايه اكثر حاجه في في البيبر اول ما حضرتك بتقراها بتخليك سبورت ان دي بيبر كويسه وحتى لو فيها بعض المشاكل ان انت يعني الحاجات دي يعني شود بي مانجد يعني كان بي مانجد ايه ايه الحاجه الاساسيه هل الفكره بتاعتها هل ان هي ضغطت حاجه معينه يعني القيمه بتاعتها ولا يعني الديزاين اللي حضرتك اتكلمت عليه يعني ايه بالظبط في المرحله الاولانيه اللي بيشجع حضرتك ان دي بيبر كويسه 
هو هو يعني بيبقى النقطه المهمه الأو... الأو... الاولى ان هو السبجكت اوف ذا ستدي ان يبقى ده سبجكت مش ويل استابلش وببلشت من تايمز قبل كده هو ده بيكون حاجه في ان يوم في اللي هو مقدم في موضوع البحث بتاعه وبعد كده الاستدي ديزاين ان هي يكونوا عاملاها ديزاين كامل والميثود اوف اناليسيز والستاتستيكال اناليسيز تكون معموله بطريقه جيده يعني دول هم ثلاث حاجات اللي هم لو لو ديفكتيف من الاول ممكن المقاله تبقى ريجكتد يعني على مستوى زي ما قلنا في الاول ان هي اديتوريال ريجكت او ريجكشن بيفور بير ريفيو طيب انا طبعا هستغل وجود حضراتكم معانا ان انا بس على بعض الايرورز اللي بتيجي في الـ في السيسز اللي احنا بنعملها وبرضو يعني لحضراتكم لو في تعليق من حضراتكم برضو على الحاجات اللي انا هقولها انا هبدا بس دلوقتي يا استاذ ابراهيم استاذ ابراهيم نفس الايه طيب. مش يعني؟ 